on Ocean Trek's conservation connections with Princess, I think the most important lessons I've learned regarding conservation is that when you protect habitat, you protect the species that live there. This is especially true on the island nation of Australia, where conservationists are fighting hard to save the endangered wombat. For me, this is the ultimate cuddly moment. This is a rescued wombat. This is Ross, and Ross's mission is to save creatures just like this. How old? She'd be at least 10 months old now. 10 months old. And it's hard to believe, but when this little wombat was born, it was the size of a jelly bean. So it looks like our Joey wombat, she's done feeding. and. You have them in this blanket. Yeah, it just mimics their mother's pouch. How long will these babies stay with their mom? Usually six months in pouch. How did these wombats end up in your care? These two particularly, their mums were hit by cars. Why do you think this work is so important, Russ? We've been doing this for 36 years now, and the more we save, the, the better. They've got great attitudes, great personalities. Each and every wombat is completely different. And hopefully, in the not so distant future, these little joeys right here will be going back into the Australian wilderness where they belong. When traveling the world by ocean, I love seeing the vast diversity of our planet's wildlife from one continent to the next. I'm in Sydney, Australia, hanging out with some juvenile wombats and their expert caretaker, Kevin Holm. So this is Kevin, Ross's husband, and he's here at Cedar Creek helping to rescue these incredible wombats. Come on, guys. That is gorgeous. <laughs> so when I think of wombats, I normally don't think of a creature that likes to play, but when they're young like this, Kevin, when they're just little joeys, under a few years old, play is a big part of their lives. Yes, they like to play. They have a run around. It's good exercise for them. It's their happy time. These playful wombats are just a few months old and not yet fit for wilderness survival. But thanks to the center's care, they're well on their way. When she grows up, she'll be a good one to release. When they're young like this, they tend to be pretty social, but as they get older, that behavior changes. Yeah, that'll change once she comes of age. Her behavior becomes more solitary, yeah. more agitated around other people and wombats, yep. because it needs to be uh, a good territory manager. Yep, it needs to be it. able to maintain its own habitat. Go off and be a wombat. It's so much fun to work with these creatures and, and help be a part of their survival. They're curious, they're inquisitive, they're rambunctious, but what's the biggest reward? When they've been sick like she was, and then it comes time to let them go and they get released into the wild, it's a big, healthy animal. She was infected with mange, a type of skin parasite, a mite, and the biggest reward is when you get to set them free. Of course, we all know that Australia is a top destination for adventure and fun and exploration, but we get this amazing wild moment. We can perhaps make a difference because we know that these Wombats are facing lots of challenges. They're losing habitat, they get hit by cars, but if we give them their space and we let them thrive, we not only help protect this amazing environment, but everyone benefits. Once a wombat fully recovers, it's ready for release. Today, I get to be part of one such special moment. All right, here we go. Right, so this is our dog attack girl. She was attacked by a dog. Yep, it's all healed. So she's now ready to go back to the bush. And I was gonna go to the gym. That's not necessary anymore. One high, high. So very, very heavy creature. So holding her, you can see how mighty they are. So what do we wanna do? We wanna weigh her. Let's get her on the scale. Yep, Before I throw my go. back out. There you go. 26. 26 kilos? Yep. She's a big girl. Yeah, yeah. About 57 pounds, so all right. So she's healthy, she's recovered. What's next? We can release her. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, mates. Here we are. Here we go. Well, this looks like the perfect place to let her go. So perfect? Yeah. Good, because... She's heavy. My lumbar <laughs> is popping. She came in here. At Cedar Creek in a lot of trouble. She survived. This is the ultimate adventure for discovery, incredible wildlife. And when we respect it, we get the ultimate reward. Yep. There you go. There you go. You're free, sweetheart. 
Thanks, Ross. You're welcome.